Well, the construction contracts in Peru was a big tradition for a long way. But until, oh, since 2017, we have another option, which is NEC contracts. Before that, we have mainly lump sum contracts, bespoke contracts in lump sum, unit prices. But after uh, Lima 2019, which was the first event where we used um, NEC contracts, we appreciate a lot this kind of contract, this kind of standard contract. So our, now we are using in a many times, in a many ways. We when I use it, five of the six options until now. After the formalizing of this memorial understanding, I think uh, the, the, the things could be run better and will be a great thing for Peru because we don't, finally we will not need any kind of frame of exception that we made in the government to government agreements to use this kind of contract. Now we will can use this kind of contracts in an open way without any exception of frame or ex uh, frame of exception and use this kind of contracts in a natural way. Basically for the big projects because we needed this kind of contracts due to our contracts are a little, little complicated, a, a bit complicated, so we need this kind of, of contract now. The, this event of the NDC contract was really, really fantastic because it was the time to share with another person, with another nationality, with another country, with another cultures, DNIs, you know, IDEs. I mean, all the aspects that every person has different, but join us in one same thing. This kind of format of contract, which is a very, very good kind of contract regarding the collaboration of we defend as with this and as a standard as a unique language for everyone.